and welcome to Marinsky March 2023, where every day in March we make a sausage recipe out of one of Adam and Stanley Marinsky's books. Last year we did home production of quality meats and sausage, which I think is one of the best sausage books out there. Stella gives you the how and why behind what you're doing in sausage making. But this year we're doing recipes out of the new book, 1001 Greatest Sausage Recipes which is a gift to us sausage makers and meat enthusiasts. Adam and Stan have traveled across Europe and North America for the last 20 years compiling recipes and they put it all into this jumbo book. What's even better is Stanley has sent me five copies to give away to you guys over the course of the month and all you got to do to get qualified is leave a comment in the videos and I'll find you and I'll send you a copy if you're one of the lucky winners. So, without any further ado, let's get into 1001 Greatest Sausage Recipes by Adam and Stanley Marinsky. Hello and welcome guys to another episode of Marinsky March. We are making a fermented product. I've been making, getting fermented products started for the last couple hours and I'm on the last one. Save the best for last, in my opinion. Not my opinion, I'm just the most excited for this one. Um, because it is the lamb dry sausage from Russia. Page 366. I really like lamb and I've never made or had a fermented and or dried lamb product. So I'm pretty pumped to see this one in action. I'm going to deviate from the recipe. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be 100% lamb. Um, the Russian dry sausage, originally sheep's original sheep sausages were made with sheep tail fat not only in Russia but in other countries as well for example Turkish sojuk so that's all it says about the Russian dry sausage now I am gonna deviate from the recipe kind of a fair bit on this one if you're following along with me on page 366 it asks you to cure meat, uh, cutting it into one inch pieces, dice fat into quarter inch cubes, put in a food grade container, mix some salt with that and some sugar and cure, uh, and pack tightly to eliminate air, cover with a clean cloth, hold in the refrigerator for 72 hours and discard any liquid uh, that's produced. But I have the meat ground up already from a lamb. I bought off my good pal Jace Poffneroff. He raises some beautiful lambs and we got some, I like my fat in my lamb. I like my lamb a little bit fattier. So this is like 70-30. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit fattier than this recipe calls for. But we're gonna skip that pack, packing step. We're just gonna mix the spices into this and stuff it because it's gonna, it asks us to dry it for a couple days anyway, so I think it's gonna lose the moisture there. I don't think it's a crucial step in the end product. Open up our lovely lamb from Mr. Jace Poffneroff. All right, and it's already ground uh, three millimeters, so it's like a final grind. In the middle of this is still frozen. Pre-portioned out to one kg. Look at that. That's what I make my shepherd's pies out of, and they are juicy and good. Okay, so these are Pretty froze, so I'm not too worried about the fat smearing on this. Breaking apart into little lumps so I can distribute the spices better. It says, do not add any water to this sausage. It's gonna be a dry, dry sausage. Get our spices. Ooh, I'm gonna chop our little bit of garlic up. Okay, a little bit of garlic in there. And then our spices onto our lamb. Grab some gloves for mixing. Look at that, one last shot before I get her mixed up. Yum. Mix that up. I've been making these sausages, like I said at the beginning of the video, for the last, oh, seven hours. I've been working away at this. And some of the sausages I put up there this morning, um, really starting to make the shop smell good. Like, whew. It's going to get the customers' noses going when they come in this week. I don't want to heat it up too much with my hands, so I'm just going to mix this quick. I want to have those little particles still. I'm not going to over mix this one. It's kind of starting to stick, starting to warm the fat up a little bit. So I'm going to call her quits right here and we'll get her into that. Tightly packed into a beef middle, which I have been soaking in water 
the last little bit here and I popped a little bit of vinegar in the water to take that kind of harsh intestine smell out of it. A little trick I learned. All right, there we go. One kg of lamb sausage seasoned up. Oh, and as I load this, don't forget to leave a comment down below. You could win this sausage stuffer. Put our seat clamp on. Apply the beef middle. Okay, and stuff our hearts out. Okay. Easy stuffer. That's it. We're going to work the last little bit out that's in the horn into the sausage. I'm going to feed this a little bit down the horn too. I don't want to miss out on a single ounce of this lamb sausage. That's my critique on this stuffer. They got the bottom of the bottom of the horn in the wrong spot. You end up wasting just a little bit too much. All right, I'm going to pack tightly in there. We don't want no air pockets inside the sausage. I'm just going to poke a couple holes. Let the air out down a bit so there's no air pockets. I'll tie them off and grab a weight. I end up chucking the rest of that out. So I'm going to leave enough in the natural casing to do a loop. So you just throw it back over the knot you just tied and tie another double knot. Nick this off. Now you got a little hanging loop. There. Give her one last squeeze. Get her good and tight. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. And you just take the weight on it because we're shooting for uh, quite a dry sausage with this one. 40% loss. So here we go. The weight is 1,131. So we'll multiply that by 0.4 and that's how many grams you need to lose. So I'm just going to tag it. And what's our next step? Tag it, hang it to dry for a couple days, a two to three. So I'm going to hang it up in my carcass cooler for a couple days. All right, there's our Russian dry sausage. Been hanging in the cooler for a couple days. Pop them out, put them in the cold smoker. Okay, there's the Trezo Riojano and the Russian dry lamb sausage in the world's fanciest cold smoker. Smoking for two days. All right, there's the Russian dry lamb sausage. I just pulled it out of the cold smoker. It's getting cold smoked for a couple days, so now it's gonna hang out in here till it's nice and dry. You can see the color really changed on it. Hey, got some nice smoke tone to it. Looking forward to trying it. Okay, I'm starting to grow slightly concerned about the lamb dry sausage. We're nearing the end of March and it hasn't lost the weight yet. It's close. It needs about, what is that, 35, 6, 7, 8 ish grams, 40 grams to lose to hit that 40% weight loss. But I'm afraid it might not because we might have some case hardening going on. It is very, very firm on the outside. If I squeeze hard enough, I can feel a bit of mush. So what case hardening is, is this outside has dried so much <clears throat> that moisture cannot escape anymore from the inside out. To, I might have to raise the humidity to allow that outside to dampen up enough to allow moisture to escape from the inside, maybe. At this point, it has lost the 35 probably percent, but you're shooting for 40 with this sausage. So it's probably technically safe to eat, but if we're trying to hit that traditional Russian dry lamb sausage, it's gonna dry a little more. So it's very close. I got a couple more days. We'll see, we'll see. It's a nail biter, this one. Whew, holy smokes. We just about didn't get this one done in time. I'll have to look back and check for sure. But I think I started this in January and today it is March 20th, Monday morning. I'm filming this. The lamb dry sausage has finally hit the 40% weight loss. I think that's the target we were looking for, 40 or 45. It struggled to get the last couple um, grams of weight loss, but the last 30 grams took like two weeks. So I'm a bit concerned that there's case hardening, but it looks like a really kind of neat sausage. It's got a quite hard, it can almost, sounds like a hollow log. I'm a bit concerned about the case hardening, but it, uh, it's quite dry, quite dark. Ended up getting a little bit of mold on it from my um, chamber. I can't remember, it's been so long. I don't remember if I cold smoked this or not. 
I want to say I did, but it's been in there for so long. Okay, I know I'm not going to be able to peel this beef middle casing off. You guys have suggested soaking it in water for a little bit. So I'm going to cut it in half and then we're going to soak it and see if we can peel it off. I got to see the middle. I got, I'm thinking this is a candidate. Oh, it's dense. It's very dense. Oh. Wow. I actually think we pulled it off. Oh boy. Oh. I'm getting my first whiffs of that. I'm getting my first whiff of that as I put it up to the camera here. And boy, oh boy, does it smell really good. Oh, it's got like a really, really strong fermented taste, smell, I should say. But I was concerned that the inside of this sausage here would be kind of very moist and there'd be like big kind of air gaps and stuff around the outside. But the chamber from the sausage maker does a good job of keeping that humidity nice and even. So it was just a slow process as it got more and more dry to get that core dried out to match the outside. So visually and uh, smell, it looks really good. I'm really happy about it. Okay, I can't wait. I'm not going to soak it in the water to get the casing off. I'm going to see if I can peel it off because I got to taste this. I must. But yes, I think you would have a very difficult time getting that casing off. Otherwise, I am having a difficult time. Okay, casing be gone. Goodness gracious, that smells good. First, it's like a fermented flavor hits you. But then you expect like the mildness of pork or beef. But the flavor of lamb is amplified through that fermentation process. So it's a bit of a surprise. But it's, it's good if you like lamb. And I like lamb, so that's good. And the, the seasonings are nice and subtle. It's not overly salty. I want to say we did smoke it because I can taste some smoke flavor. The peppercorn, or not corn, the pepper flakes in there are nice. That is a good sausage. Mine's probably a little bit high on the fat content. It's like coating the mouth a little bit, kind of a little bit tallowy. But the flavor, the fermented flavor is really good on this. I, I can't remember if we added bacteria, if we just naturally got it to happen, or what's the case on this one? It's been so long. Should have refreshed before I started eating it. Hmm. But that's good. It's funny, it just starts out so subtle, like lots of fermented, f fermented, is that even a word? Fermented flavor, and then it's like lamb, and then you get the spices, and it miles out. Hmm. That's good. That's a great start for fermented lamb sausages. The first one I've ever had is very good. It was a bit tricky to pull off. I feel like if you didn't have a very, if you didn't watch your chamber closely, you could have some hiccups with this one, trying to get it that dry. Maybe a little bit more difficult one to make, but if you make it at home and you like lamb, you will like this sausage. I hope you like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we make a sausage video like this every day in March. We've got to be running out of videos by now. By the time I get this edited, this is going to be in the last week. That's good, though. Save the best for last. One of the best for last. Hmm.